Hi, this is Steve Nissen. Welcome to your next edition of Highlights, our video educational update. And what I do at my live seminars and as bonuses for my educational DVDs, we include a lot of case studies and testing knowledge charts to really help refine uh, the, your knowledge and help cement what you've learned on those educational resources. And what I want to do now is give you an example. We'll do a case study. And um, what I have as a, a good way to really put this into real world experience uh, at the end, as I mentioned before, of my educational resources, I have a lot of what would you do now charts. And essentially, I would ask, what would you do, as shown in the title here. So let's go through one of these now. In the red arrow on the right of the slide, ask yourself, what would you do? And by the way, I'll be going over what these this green box means and this green triangle and so forth in a couple of minutes. But put the player control and pause and ask yourself, would you buy? Would you sell? Would you stand aside? And keep in mind, normally I have Western indicators also because you know how much I emphasize combining what I call the best of the East and the West. But since our focus is on candles, from a candlestick perspective, okay, what would you do? And again, put the player control and pause and then when you're ready to hear my answers and my hints, just hit the play again. Okay, so first of all, there are no bullish turning signals here. Okay, so the trend is down. But look at these red lines here. While the trend is down, is the market at support? And of course, the answer is yes. And let me go through what these signals are. This green, tri uh, green arrow is a piercing pattern. And a piercing pattern is when a white candle gets more than halfway into the black real body after a little downtrend. This green rectangle defines the three candlesticks that make a morning star black real body, small real body, and then a tall white candle that gets deeply into the black real body. And this green triangle represents a bullish engulfing pattern, a white candle wrapping around a black real body. And by the way, this is my, and you'll notice the, all the patterns I talked about are up here, Nissan Morning Star, Bullish Engulfing, and Piercing Pattern. Okay, this is part of my candlestick scanning software. And it's not officially released yet. Um, for those who do want to be on the first alert, you can contact Paul. And I'll get back to the slide in a couple of minutes. But you can contact Paul at CandleCharts.com and ask him to place you on the NCF. That stands for Nissan Candlestick Finder. And you'll be able to do exactly what I've done in this slide here. It'll highlight the... Uh, my most important candlestick signals. But uh, anyway, let me get back to what we're talking about. So uh, although the market is trending down, the market's at support. So do you sell? You know, do you sell short? And I think the answer to that is no. Okay. Although there are no bullish turning signals, all of the candles, the market's at support. Why would you sell at support? Okay. One option maybe is if you're already short, uh, you could uh, think about lightening up or cover some shorts. I wouldn't go long again because there's no bullish reversal signals. Now, let me give you a little hint about the we, we've seen why we wouldn't sell short. Okay. How about going long here? Okay. And as I mentioned before, I personally would not do that because there's no bullish candlestick signals. Now, one of my favorite Western charting techniques, and I alluded to the fact that you know Western tools are important, what I call the best of the East and the West, is change of polarity. And many of you might be familiar with this technique, whether you learned it from me or other sources, because although I came up with the term, this is a very basic Western charting tool. Essentially, a multi-tested support area okay, should be, uh, once it's broken, should become support. So, uh, uh, I'm sorry, should become resistance. Let me show you this, the idea behind this. So, let's say you bought up this support area. You're happy. Then the market does this. Okay. Congratulations with a question mark. You bought a support. I don't think you'd be really happy. So, what happens is the buyers at the prior support area, once the market rallies, okay, that old support should become resistance. So, with that in mind, let's go back to the prior slide. So we're at this juncture here. So we can see the market's at a support area. Uh, now, would you be buying it? And as I mentioned before, no, because there's no bullish reversal signals. And so we have this prior support area. 
So even if the market did rally from here, right, what should become resistance? And remember the change of polarity, old support becomes new resistance. And look at what happened on the rally. Now just ignore this green arrow here. Uh, on the rally. So the market did hold support down here, right? But the rally stalled right at old support becoming new resistance. So the answer to the question is what should you do down here? And the answer is nothing. Okay, there are times to buy, there are times to sell, there are times to step aside. Okay, and as I had this, as I show in this cartoon, in this custom cartoon, it's better to do nothing <laughs> than to make something into nothing. So the Japanese will say in their literature, uh, it's time to either buy or sell, or what they say is take a rest, for, rest from battle. And the Japanese have a lot of, you know, military analogies because to them, you know, trading is like going into battle. So uh, you know, it's a nice expression: buy, sell, or stand aside from the battle. So hope you found this interesting, and may the candles continue lighting your path to greater profits.